Hi viewers and welcome to the channel and today I'm answering a question about rotation. Now the question is if we have say a cube in here, if we look at where this rotates around, we go to view, toggle axis cross, you can see that our point of origin for our world coordinates is here and this cube has been created at point zero zero zero. And if I transform this, we can see that when we rotate this object, it rotates around this vertex here. Let's say if I wanted to rotate it around well, this vertex or through this edge, so these top vertices, so it rotates around here. How do I do that? Well, FreeCAD gives you a tool to allow you to have more precise control over the rotation. You can't do it from the axis here. Well, you can, but it's actually quite hard. This is not in degrees. So if I added 45 degrees here, this wouldn't actually work. Let's come out of our edit mode. And I put 45 degrees on the Y and 45 degrees on the Z. You can see this isn't working. So how do we set this axis? So the problem that we've got is that these values are not in degrees. So how do we make this easier on ourselves? Well, FreeCAD gives you a tool. So if I click on the cube, come up to edit and come down to placement, we get this panel here. And this gives you a number of options to actually rotate this. What I'm going to do is just reset this. So if I click on reset, this object moves back to where it originated from. So we've got the X, Y, and Z. So these are all translations. So we can use this to translate our object. So I'm just using the mouse wheel to move this up and down to move this across this axis. Let's put it back to where it was. And the angle, the rotation angle, if we drop this down, this gives us an X, Y, and Z to rotate round. Well, we can actually use degrees. So we can say 45 degrees around the X and 45 degrees around the Y, etc. And you can see how that's changing. But let's say if we wanted to change this, and rotate around a different point. So I want to rotate, say around this vertex here, rather than this vertex. This is where the center comes in handy. So I can select the vertex, come in and select points. This changes the center of rotation. So you can see we've got X10 and Z10. Now when I rotate, say around the X axis, we can see that's rotating around this vertex here. See so that? And rotate around the Y. And can see how that's rotating. And finally the Z. So we can set this to a rotation by using the X, Y, and Z and using the center. And you can see how that's rotated there. There's also this apply incremental changes. If I click that, and I'm just gonna hit reset, we've got the X, Y, and Z here, but you can see this has been placed some distance away from this point. If we look back to the model and come down to the position, this is four along the X axis. So what's happened is when we go back to the task, you can see that although it's saying X, Y, and Z are zero, it's actually taken the placement of this object and just zeroed everything out and used that as the base point. So I know that's four millimeters away from that point there along the X. We now can translate this, say another four millimeters, or if we want to go back to the point of origin, we need to go minus four. So these are incremental changes. The same with the axis, if this had some rotation at first, so let's come into the angle and just place a 90 degree rotation on there. Let's try 45, so it's 45 degrees, like so. I'm coming to the tasks, you can see that has a rotation there. Go minus four back and it hasn't added that rotation on here. So anything 
done from here is one degree more or an increment of degrees more than our original position and rotation. Let's reset this. And I'm just going to uncheck this apply increment and just reset. So we reset the whole object back to the point of origin. Now we select more than one point to rotate around. So I can click this point, come round and select this point in here. Set points, you see that the center has changed to 555 and we can start change the angle and it will rotate around those points. Hit reset and select a different point. So if I hit select point, this tells you what to select. So this gives you a nice description of how this actually works. So if I wanted to rotate around, say a point on this face here, now if I click that, it's where the mouse pointer first clicked. And if I select points, it will actually calculate where that point is. And we can make some adjustments in here just to get it into the correct position. Or we can use the center of mass. Unfortunately, it doesn't show where this point is sitting in 3D space. This placement is not carried over and kept when we come out of this. So we can apply a rotation. Say so I can apply a rotation around this axis here. So that point and then rotate this. Let's use the angle. Say like this, apply and hit OK. So that's applied, but if I hit right click and transform, we're still at the point of origin. So our axis hasn't changed, it's just the rotation around that axis. So it's a quick video of how to use the placement tools. Hope that's answered the question and I hope to see you again soon. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to the site. I also have a Ko-Fi or a coffee site that you can donate to if you so desire. And that's at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G-0. I also run a Patreon where you can subscribe and get extra content. And that's at www.patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Any money that's kindly donated will be used to expand the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing and I'll see you again soon.